Hi, my name is Ricard. I'm a flight attendant and I live in Cedro Woolly, Washington. Cedro Woolly. No spoilers here. Ricard's lips are sealed and he's not sharing any twist on the newest season of Survivor. Before the season started, he said he wanted to make a memorable mark on the show. I want to be the first brown, gay, hard of hearing winner. And that would be really special to me. We got the chance to talk with Ricard after he wrapped up filming for the season that airs tonight. Going into it, I thought I would either be the funny one or a villain. And I guess you'll have to see what I turn out to be. Now, of course, Ricard couldn't give too much away. Just don't be surprised if he is the villain this season. I'm kind of a cutthroat person and I do what I need to do. Originally, the game plan was to keep his hard of hearing a secret. And I really want to use being hard of hearing and the skills that come along with that. But he shared with us that in order to survive, he decided to share that part of himself. But when I actually showed up, I realized I need to share this piece of me. It, it really is part of me. Even before he made it to the island, Ricard told us he spent months trying to outsmart the competition. I feel like I went a different route than most people would. Uh, I'm sure a lot of folks are like, oh, I'm going to be on TV. Let me start working out and eating well. I was the opposite. I gained 10 pounds. I ate everything that existed. What? Um, and then I said, <laughs> yeah, no, I wanted to have some extra meat on me for the game. Ricard also says he cut out things from his everyday routine, like wearing chapstick or lotion, so that he wouldn't miss what he calls the small things during the game. The biggest challenge, though? I stopped drinking coffee two months before the show started, so I wouldn't have any caffeine in my system. Wow, that's incredible. I don't know if I could do the no caffeine thing for two months. <laughs> I don't it think was, I'd be It was up. very, very hard to, like, wean myself off, but I can't imagine having done that in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Survivor has already called season 41 a new era. They've promised more twists that will force players to make quick, big decisions. But Ricard says he's hoping everyone notices something else special about this season. And so I feel like this season specifically, with so much more representation of BIPOC individuals, of queer individuals, of what have you, this is going to be a new show in that sense, but it's still the same Survivor that I love and that I'm very, very proud to be a part of. But I, I hope that more people will be able to appreciate it the way that I, I feel like I'm going to. Win or lose, we know Washington will be rooting for him. Regardless of whatever happens in the game, whoever wins, however well we do, I feel like we all had a really great time and I'm so, so grateful for the opportunity. That's Survivor right now. So buckle up. Yeah.